Hi there! Let's go through a brief overview of some of the exciting new features and enhancements available in Jamf Pro 11.11. .11. New options to restrict features on managed mobile devices are available in Jamf Pro 11.11 .11 within the Restrictions Mobile Device Configuration Profile payload. Administrators who want to restrict use of Rich Communication Services, or RCS, messaging, block the transfer of an eSIM to a different device, or preserve an eSIM when a user erases a device can find these new options in the Functionality section of the Restrictions payload. Two additional restrictions, one to disallow locking apps and another to disallow hiding apps, can be found in the Apps section of the Restrictions payload. Security-focused administrators will be excited to learn that Jamf Pro 11.11 .11 can leverage managed device attestation to further evaluate device trust in their organization. Using the device information method of managed device attestation, Jamf Pro regularly instructs supported devices to contact Apple for verification. Apple verifies the device's reported unique identifiers and returns an attestation certificate, which the device submits to Jamf Pro for evaluation. To view the results of the authenticity evaluation, navigate to the inventory record of a supported device. Select the Security tab and find the Manage Device Attestation section. Any of these items can be used as criteria to create advanced searches which report on device identifier validity or to create smart groups which grant access to secure resources for trusted devices. Another exciting security feature in Jamf Pro 11.11 .11 is the ability to customize the size of an RSA key used with Active Directory Certificate Services integrations. Prior to Jamf Pro 11.11, .11, only 2048-bit keys were supported. However, admins can now choose to use a 4096-bit or 8192-bit key when configuring ADCS certificate payloads. This change aligns with NIST security guidelines and allows administrators to tailor encryption to their specific security needs and future considerations. Please note that changes to existing deployments will not retroactively modify issued certificates. That's it for a quick overview of some of the new features introduced in Jamf Pro 11.11. .11. Be sure to visit the Jamf Pro release notes in the Jamf Learning Hub at learn. Jamf.com for requirements and details about the features we've covered and to review all of the exciting updates in this version, including faster reporting on file vault status and battery health using declarative device management. Thanks for watching.